Now, I have a confession to make. Your boy is a diehard Honda fanatic. For me, it's VTEC all the way, baby, and the Civic is still the most beloved front-wheel drive sedan or hatchback of all time. And the hits just keep on coming from Honda. Five years after introducing the 10th generation Honda Civic and releasing it into the Philippine market, Honda has now unveiled and released its successor, and things are certainly looking very promising. Previewed last year and boasting a clean and modern design and human-centered interior, a testament to the model's almost 50-year history. This is Roy from ZigWheels.bh, and boy do we have a barn burner for you guys, because we are going to dig deep into the 11th generation Honda Civic. You're watching The Z-List. Number one, it is clean AF. The 2022 Honda Civic sedan features an all-new, simple, yet clean and modern exterior, which is something Honda Civic fans might appreciate. While the 10th generation Honda Civic offered sharp lines and angles, the all-new model looks to Honda's new design philosophy, similar to that of the all-new HRV. While the overall design isn't stray too far from the previous model, the choices made on the exterior refines it further. Most noticeable is the longer hood to emphasize a sense of power and sportiness. Now, if you look at the design choice up close, you will notice that the A-pillar is actually pointed towards the front wheel hub, creating an atmosphere that can almost fool the uninitiated. The 2022 Honda Civic sedan might even pass off as a rear-wheel drive muscle car. Of course, that's going too far, but that is of course until you see the Civic badge in the rear. The rear LED tail lamps have most certainly been reworked from the crab claw of the previous generation and it features an almost Euro-esque vibe to it. Overall, the 2022 Honda Civic features a more mature take on Honda's best-selling design that should appeal to both new and hardcore fans alike. Number 2. The classiest interior amenities on any Honda Civic ever. Major changes in the 2022 Honda Civic can most definitely be found in the interior. Keeping the Honda's man maximum machine minimum design philosophy, Honda uses every trick in the book to create a much cleaner and more intuitive experience for drivers and passengers. The most glaring design change would have to be the honeycomb hexagonal grille design on the dashboard. That's right folks, the honeycomb grille isn't on the outside front fascia but it's actually on the dashboard. This design not only adds contrast and texture to an otherwise often overlooked part, it runs horizontally across the dash from each front door and the simplicity of the design is as revolutionary as it is simple. Behind the grille lie the AC vents that can be controlled by a joystick-like contraption. And the only concern that this design implementation would have right now is keeping that grille clean and dust-free. But at the moment, the striking, simple, yet ingenious design certainly makes this Honda fan forget about that. For now. Probably needing a Q-tip for that to clean it. Number 3. Toys for used boys and girls. Higher variants of the 2022 Honda Civic sedan gets a large digital display behind the steering wheel that's 10.2 inches. Imagine 10.2 inches behind the steering wheel acting as your gauges. It can show you all the information you need while driving without having to take your line of sight away from the road. A neat trick is that once set into sport mode, the digital display actually lights up in classic Honda red. Crimson has always been associated with performance in Honda more so than any other brand. Tech enthusiasts will be happy to know that the top touring trim is brimming with every imaginable convenience feature such as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto which at this point should come as standard with any other vehicle really. You can control the 2022 Honda Civic's infotainment system through a glorious 9-inch high-def touchscreen infotainment system while audio is channeled through a premium Bose 12-speaker system on the top trim. Now, Qi wireless charging is also available for compatible smartphones, and I'm glad that they didn't ditch the volume knob this time. Now, ditching it during the last generation's first release was like Apple removing the headphone jack. Everybody was definitely up in arms on this one but I'm glad to find it on the 2022 Honda Civic. Number four, safety for days. Honda didn't give safety the back seat on the 2022 Honda Civic. 
What are on those back seats are side airbags that are finally available in the Civic for the first time ever. The airbags are also well engineered and smart enough to prevent traumatic brain and neck injuries. Of course, a more advanced and improved version of the Honda Sensing Safety System makes its debut with a new front wide view camera, plus new traffic jam assist and low speed braking control. So definitely safety for days when you're talking about the 2022 Honda Civic. Number five, VTEC. Maybe. Under the hood you get the option to select either a 2 liter naturally aspirated K20 C2 engine that makes 158 horsepower and 187 newton meters of torque or a 1.5 liter turbocharged L15 B7 engine that pushes 180 horsepower and 240 newton meters of torque. Now these engines are carried over from the previous generation, but the latter has been further tuned to give buyers a bit more power and better fuel economy. Now both of these are powered by an improved CVT system that provides better feedback and shift response, ensuring the engine is at the most efficient speed at all times. Now for those worried about the turbo system on the 1.5 liters, thermal performance has been reworked to ensure durability and maximum efficiency for any situation. Now I've had my doubts about the all new 2022 Honda Civic, especially when the prototype was first released last year, but the production model will oh, surely wipe my worries away and I can't wait to get my hands on this for a test drive or maybe even drive home with one of my own. Honda is going all in with its most iconic nameplate and with brands shifting away from sedans to crossovers, I think it's time Honda showed everyone how fun a sporty sedan can be. Local pricing has yet to be released, but Honda Philippines has always made sure to let everyone know about it as soon as it's made available. Now, thank you so much for watching another episode of The Z-List. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and smash the notification icon to tell you whenever a new episode comes out. We've been filling up the channel for you guys, so drop us a comment down below and tell us what you want to see on future videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Wear a mask, love one another, and as always, I'll see you next time. Peace.